Mm. Money. All right, what up guys? So today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a full detail on my 2008 Subaru STI. First off, before I do start any of the actual washing, I want to give a big shout out to Royal Detail oh, for hooking me up with all this beautiful stuff right here. If you want to know anything about the products that I'm using, about a month ago I made a video of me unboxing all of this beautiful stuff. So if you want to see anything that's in this box, go to that video. It's a mini sewed. It's on my channel. You can do that. And also I want to give a shout out to Surf City Garage because they hooked me up with one of their clay zillas. It's kind of one of their new little products that they're trying that they're selling. Um, I'm really excited to use it. It's pretty much it replaces a clay bar. Um, it's an artificial clay bar. So I'm I'm super excited, super stoked to use it. Anyways, without wasting any more time, I'm gonna go ahead, move my car around a little bit, and I'm gonna get to washing and detailing this car. So I might as well answer before you guys ask because it's asked about 110% of the time. Why am I washing in a garage? Well, because I don't want sunspots. Whenever your car is in the sun, water dries and evaporates faster and it leaves those little spots on your car. So even though it's like evening right now, I'm still doing it in the garage because it's kind of nice too because you can just roll around and whatnot. So anyways, that's it. Boom. long time since I've seen my car this clean. This is absolutely ridiculous. So uh, really quickly, I just used this Surf City Garage clay thing all over my whole car. And I have to say something really quickly. This is the best artificial claying device I have ever used. I've used several of them and nothing has done the job like this one. There really is no replacement for an actual clay bar in itself, but this does a damn good job. So I wanted to say that. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with the little daylight I have left, because it's, it's really, it takes, it's time consuming carrying this freaking camera around everywhere, trying to get a, all these positions and stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the job tonight, and I'm going to update you guys tomorrow, whenever it's actually sunny outside and I can get a good lighting on this. And move forward today. Boom, different day, different shirt. Same with the rest of the outfit. <laughs> so uh, what I did was last night is I finished up the car and it looks really good. And of course, you know, I had to drive this morning to a meeting and uh, it was like wet and rainy. So that's awesome. So I came back to the garage, did a few corrections here and there. So now that it's daylight, I'm going to do a few corrections, but I'll go ahead and show you guys a little bit of the car. Pick up this piece of junk. It's not only shiny, but the most important thing is it's, it's swirl free and uh, the paint's protected. And you can just you can really see the shine. Um, and again, that's I always emphasize it's not about the shine; it's about how well your paint's protected. But anyways, it's not a life lesson video; it's just a video on detailing my car. And yeah, I completely forgot what it looked like to have silver wheels. <laughs> it's insane. I'm gonna engage selfie mode and finish this video up. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this short detail video on my Subaru STI. It's a pretty long process, it takes about six hours to do it the way I do it just for the exterior. Um, and I actually kind of cut short on some parts because I was losing daylight and I was freaking tired. So anyways, if you guys have not already hit that subscribe button, do it. Join the Shank Squad and I will see you guys next video. Peace out. Uh -huh.